What's going on guys? Welcome to another video and in today's video I'm gonna talk about why the coding journey is so hard. Alright guys, I think this is a really good topic for this video because a lot of people when they are starting out, I remember myself as well, uh, we have a lot of questions always. Uh, we don't know where to start basically, we don't know if we have to learn JavaScript first and then go to CSS or if we need to learn PHP to build a website. There is all these uh, lots of questions it's like how can I get a job, can I get a job without a degree or anything and all of these things they turn your uh, your journey to become a web developer like really really hard and let me tell you something we live now in a world that uh, you have all the information all the knowledge that you need is is for free online okay the difficult part is really to put all these pieces of the puzzle in the right sequence so to to know what you have to do first after 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 uh, and this is like the really difficult part, but I, I think I have even done some videos like how to become a web developer uh, in 2019 or whatever. And um, let me tell you something like uh, really the hardest part is just like your commitment. Is your commitment and faith in yourself that you can do it. Because I remember, I remember myself when I was working in, in that coffee shop, uh, Preta Manger, that I mentioned uh, a couple of times. Um, there were some, some days when I was like uh, pushing myself, I was like I want to get rid of this job where I'm working now because I, I hate it. I was starting at 5 in the morning, some of you might know from some of my videos that I was starting at 5 in the morning, uh, working until 2 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, exhausted and I was going home, tired and I was still going to study. Because let me tell you something. When you are learning something like web development to, to get a job, the hardest part really is to keep the momentum like learning every day. If you stop, if you stop for a while, you will feel like when you come back that you don't know anything and it's like you need to repeat the cycle all over again. And one of the things, one of the things that I, I think I mentioned in my live stream sometimes is I thank myself to, to the past Telmo. Sometimes when I, for example, I'm, the, I'm in this situation now that I already have a, a job as a web developer, I thank myself like Telmo from the past, thank you so much like for all the hard work that you put in because you, you will see, you lo look at yourself, when you are learning web development, when you're learning HTML, CSS, JavaScript, when you build your portfolio, and you start to get some interviews and all these kind of things, you will really thank yourself from the past for all the hard work that you did. Because <laughs> this is all that matters, is all this little work every day. And that's why it's like so hard. You, you know, it's putting the pieces of the puzzle all together and then there is the commitment. But let me tell you also another thing, is really believing in yourself that you can do it. Because I remember, I remember especially like there were some days that I thought I'm never going to be able to get a job because I don't know enough. I don't know enough, I don't know how to do this, I, I don't know how to do that. I remember like thinking like this, I will never get a job, I don't know enough. And let me tell you, this, this is not true, okay? This is just you feeling down. And one one of the things that I... I um, I really like advise you guys to do because I started to do this as well. When the year is starting, if, even now, for example, if you want to start now, just do it. Put like a jar or a box or anything and inside of this put some pieces of paper with some good things that you achieved this year, okay? And you're gonna open this box in the end of the year. So you could, you could put something like this. Uh, now, for example, we are in May. I learned how to build a website or I learned how to do these with the CSS. I learned a bit more about JavaScript. Write this on a paper, put it on a box. And then in the end of the year or something like this or every six months, open the box and check what did you achieve so far. And you will feel proud of yourself. Let me tell you because there is a lot of these days, like I said, 
that you feel like I can't do this, I don't know enough or anything, when it's not true. There is just some days that w all of us we have like this. Sometimes I feel like oh my my YouTube channel is 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 crap, it's not good enough. Or I remember when I was learning web development that um, that I didn't know enough. I I will I will never get the job because I don't know enough. And this is the thing, guys. You just need to you know. Be confident, try to be confident and try to push yourself to do this because like I told you, you will thank yourself from the past. <laughs> I always do this. I know it might be a bit strange, but for sure there is more people doing this like, thank you tell me from the past for all this hard work that you have done. <laughs> because you will see in the future, you will really thank yourself. And let me tell you this. Another thing, another thing that why the coding journey is so hard and this is one of the most important topics that I want to mention in here is you need to stop with the um, poor mentality, okay? You need to stop with this kind of poor mentality. And let me tell you what is this poor mentality. It's something like this. Oh, um, why I'm going to invest, for example, in this tree house, they pay like, I think it's like $25 a month or something. Or why should I go to the tech degree, which is like really awesome. Or why should I buy one of Telmo's courses that I have on my website? No, I have everything for free in, um, in YouTube or uh, on Google. You have a, a lot, there's, there's true, there is a lot of good content out there. And, uh, but that, that's the thing. If you keep with this poor mentality that you don't want to spend anything, this is like the, the biggest mistake that you can do, okay? That's why people like with this poor mentality, they are still working in McDonald's, they are still working in these coffee shops, like, like my previous colleagues that I remember when I was working in the coffee shop, all of these colleagues that I had in there, uh, they were all the time, they didn't want to spend any money on their education or anything. And then they wanted to get out of the job just like that. It doesn't happen like that. You need to invest on yourself, okay? You need to invest in your knowledge. And this is what I'm telling you. Let's say, for example, that um, you say, oh, I don't want to spend any money or whatever. It, it's possible to get a job as a web developer without spending any money, but Look, look, for example, if you go into, into Treehouse, let's say, I, I have the link in here if you want to just check it out. I have the link in the description. Let's say you have these like um, $25 a month. Just with these $25 a month, let me tell you, um, you get all the content that you need to become a web developer. They even have like structured like um, paths. Okay, for example, for front end, for web design, for full stack, they have these paths that basically they are telling you, look, this is what you have to learn first, after, after, after. And let's say, for example, you are there, um, like paying a subscription for, for a year. Okay, $25 for 12, 12 months is going to be like $270 or 200, let's say $300, okay, for a year. $300, this is what I'm telling you. To, to have an abundance mindset. You spend $300 on yourself, on your knowledge. This is an investment, but the money that you, you, you will have back, okay? The money that you will have back once you get a job as a web developer is so much more. So let, let me tell you something. Is it better to spend, for example, $300 or, or buy, for example, some of these Udemy courses out there for $10? There is nothing, okay? Uh, invest this kind of money in your knowledge or uh, do you rather not spending a single dime because you are in this kind of poor mindset, the, the mindset of a guy who wants to spend all his life in, a, in McDonald's, uh, <laughs> uh, right? Or, or do you want to spend some money in your, um, in your uh, knowledge, in your education and all these kind of things? This is the abundance mindset, guys. Let, let, me, let me tell you another thing. You, you should not, you should not think about, for example, oh, um, I would, I would like to go on holidays to, to the Bahamas or I would like to go to Thailand. Um, but I need, I need to save money for that. You know, I need to save some money, um, to go there. Maybe I shouldn't drink so much coffees. You shouldn't be thinking about like drinking less coffees. You need to enjoy your life. You need to think about, for example, ways of getting more money on your job or getting a better job or even get some more side income. 
And this is the trick guys, that's why this coding journey is so hard because there is a lot of people who don't want to spend money on their education, you know, they just want to have everything for free, they don't put commitment on it. And let me tell you something, when you, for example, I remember when, um, when I was actually starting out learning uh, as a web developer, I signed up for the Udacity Nano degree that I mentioned. Now, if you are going to sign up for some tech degree, I would advise you to go now on the three hours because I test them both. I have some videos in here on my channel, but uh, I remember that I signed up for, for the Udacity Nano degree because I was trying to get out of these poor mentality to this poor mindset of not spending any money. And I was like, okay, I'm going to spend $200 a month. Okay. And I need to finish this degree because, uh, you know, otherwise I'm going to be paying this money all the time, but I was pushing myself. I'm going to invest in my knowledge in this place where they are going to give me enough knowledge. And it, it was worth it. Look, I got a job after. <laughs> so, that's it guys, it's, it's really, it's really like I said, is really about you, you know, picking up the right resources, commitment and invest in yourself. That's why this is so hard, okay? You need just like to be confident, you know? And this is what I'm trying to tell you. You will never feel ready to get a job, okay? This is something that happens to all of us. We always feel like we don't uh, know enough, we still have a lot more to learn, we still don't know enough JavaScript, we still... That, that's all, you know, like, like really things on your head. I, I was going through the same. I was going like, I don't know enough, um, I, you know, I don't know enough, I'm, I don't feel ready, I'm never going to become a web developer, and this is not true, you know, I know, I, let me tell you this, I tell this all the time, some of my students, you know, they have so much knowledge already, if you want to become one of my students, by the way, send me an email, I have my, my link in the description or something like this, but uh, some of my students, they already have so much knowledge, uh, that basically, I've seen some junior developers in, in other companies where I've worked that uh, are like, wow, this guy doesn't know nothing, almost nothing, and they have a job. And I have some of my students and other of my subscribers in here that they have so much knowledge and they don't have a job yet because you are not confident, okay? You are not confident. You are not putting the things in the right place. You are not taking the right sequence. You are not building the portfolio the way you should. You are not putting the right projects. You are not investing money in your education to learn about all these things. That's why the coding journey is so hard. Let me tell you this. All right, guys, get out of this poor mindset, okay? This poor mentality of not spending any money. You know, invest in yourself, invest in your knowledge because you will get so much more money back. And not just money, but quality of life. <laughs> I, I, I thought this about myself, like, I couldn't see myself now working in a, in a coffee shop again doing sandwiches. Not now that I know what I know. All right, guys, I think that's it for this video. I hope I could give you a little bit of motivation that uh, you can really get a job as a web developer and the journey is not that hard as it looks like, okay? It's all about, you know, perseverance, pushing yourself, thanking yourself from the past, like, tell me from the past, thank you for the hard work, thank you for coding all those days, you know, keep a box, like I said, with this kind of paper that you, you can put in for these kind of situations, when in a day that you are not feeling so well, open that box and check the good things that you achieved this year so far, and this will help you keep going forward. All right, guys. That's it for this video. I hope it motivates you a little bit, you know, to go through your coding journey as well. And uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel if this is your first video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it, of course, and I'll see you in the next one.